Right. We're in the Salonilla Ascension post show. Eduardo, Leila. Um, that wasn't the right scene. Uh, you got to see the suffering scene, uh, or path, so to speak, on that one. So not quite what you were expecting, I, I would surmise. Uh, the vi- you know We'll make sure, as when this always happens, that you will get that in catch-up and in episodes, the correct scenes will be put there. Um, this is going to make it... Uh, we just want to make sure that's clear. Uh, one thing also that's clear, it is a little bit of a cliffhanger. So tomorrow will be the actual kind of last moments you'll see on Eric there. So make sure before tomorrow that you get a chance to check the correct scene, see what happened. But if you like seeing Rachel lose body parts, you got a little bit of a bonus treat. So hopefully on that side, you did appreciate that. Um, so sorry about that. That said, uh, our team's looking at it. We'll make sure that the video on demand, so to speak, the catch up the episode, you do get access to that. Otherwise, um, yeah, honestly, that discussion for me between Eric and Nora was really key tonight. Yeah, you know, because the whole town, if we're going to reminisce on good old Tobes, the whole town did blame him for the whole thing. And he wasn't not at fault if he was passed out over the control panel. But also, Eric pushed the button. And the rule when you're operating big machinery is if you don't know what button do, don't push it. No, I I mean, you know... uh... That question from Nora is was so chilling, right? What really happened that day? That's so mm-hmm. critical. Now, now uh, we're gonna show that video again, like the start of it. So, so just to make sure here, the one that premiered today, production's gonna put that up in our background here. But this is where Eric makes his decision about how to protect Faith, and in the process, the truth about his involvement in the steel mill accident is revealed. That discussion with Nora is really important. Um, you know, somebody also mentioned in the chat, and I can't help but do it, you know, that Rachel has too few fingers so she can file for this ability. Don't forget, she has some extra fingers from uh, from Xavier. So she's all sorted there. Don't worry. She has more than enough fingers at her disposal. Not a problem. Don't worry for Rachel. More than enough fingers no matter what. Um, yeah, as long as she kept them on ice, she should be pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's the thing. Now, uh, but yeah, coming back to that moment... I'm not the bad one. She is. That Layla was pretty key. Ooh. Anything to reveal here? He really, uh, he really saw that bus and then took Rachel and chucked her under it like Regina George. Uh, you know, and, uh, I, like, I get where you're coming from, King, but you're, you're all... All of you, you're all comp- the only innocent one here, really, is Nora and Faith. Yeah, Faith is innocent. I mean, there's, I don't, she's not responsible. Female incident. She, I think she's not responsible is reasonable, but I don't know if innocent is the term I use with that child. Well, I'm just saying specifically about the steel mill incident. I'm oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. She was other crimes than, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yes, that is more than reasonable. I, I accept on that for sure. Uh, by the way, uh, I, I, yeah. Sorry, Leonardo's Five is pitching a, a Fingers on Ice, a Silent Hill musical. So, uh, Eduardo, I think that uh, once we have a little bit more free time, <laughs> that's our next. That's our next pitch. Excellent. I like it. But yeah, before before we kind of like uh, talk about the decision that opened today, because uh, it's going to be a bit of a shift here. Um, the, the the correct video is already there. So once our show ends. You will, you know, you'll be put back into the kind of the main area. Check it out. You'll be also with the rest of the community here. So check it out. Have a lovely moment between you, the fans. Well, our show's about 15-ish minutes. So hang with us. We're going to have a good time talking about stuff that opened, meaning of the story and all that, because today we have a decision opening. Production's going to put that up on screen. That one's in Norway. That is true, that one is Norway, and it is how Will Astrid explained Brit's fate to Nils. She never stood a chance. It's her own fault, or I failed my sister. That's, um, I think if anybody ever looked at me and my faults as a human being, which I know I seem perfect, but I have many, uh, and if somebody uh, hit me with that pitying, she never stood a chance, I think I'd claw their eyes out with my bare mitts. 
So if you want to be judged by Layla, you know what option to do. Now, if you'd like to not be as harshly judged, uh, there, there's two perfectly valid options left for you, which is great. And, and by the way, it's not just Nils, right? Nils with a recording device. You see, never miss an opportunity for content. This is a good lesson out there for all of you who want to aspire to make uh, your own podcast. They really whipped that, whipped that phone out. They had it ready to like, is there a recorder on your front screen? Is it in your little like speed bar down there? Just ready to pull up the recorder at any point. Also, what is that? As a podcaster, what is that audio sphere like? Like, are you just recording it with the nature sounds, the tragic story of some woman's life while the birds are just in the back and the frogs are riveting? Is that the kind of audio quality we're going for here, Nels? Truly a disgrace. Look, I when you when you start, I remember like when I started uh, streaming, I had, you know, the little white microphones, the ones on a stand. You do, you make do with what you have. What we have today is a little bit better, uh, but not still not good, as you say. Now, uh, Norway, uh, we had the story. We're going to put that back up on screen because we're going to contextualize kind of, uh, you know, Astrid and Nils were trying to make sense of what's going on. But, you know, again, what happened in Norway last week? There's actually a lot going on in Norway. It remains mysterious as to what finally occurred, except, of course, the Brits redeemed. And this time, I'm going to read the slide in the correct order. Astrid with promises to set things right, but everything isn't as it seems. Other Brit attacks Astrid, and the truth about Brit's involvement in the violence Ava enacted is revealed. Brit faces off against her personal demons in a final encounter. Uh, and crushes them. And crushes them. Truly, like look, like the collectors just like, well, gotta let this one go. I, you yeah. know, somebody outbid me in the last second, sniped it up. Whatever, can't get it. Collector standing there like, well, points were made. See you later. <laughs> I mean, like, hey, I think I'm a big fan of like a uh, uh, loopholes in in folklore. So I like a little devil went down to Georgia kind of story. And and in my heart, uh, that's kind of what happened. There was just a vibes off, and Brit won. And yeah, I'm proud no. Of her. No, Brit, Brit, like, honestly, and, and kudos to the audience for this one. I, I I don't, like, Brit's path was really, you know, like, I think every other character is at two and four, but, like, Brit was straight up, like, no, we're behind her. Like, the decisions weren't close. It was like, whatever we can do to protect Brit, we're going to do. The only decision that was close was the one where people weren't sure what the redemption path was. So they were like, it's between these two, kill her and brace her, not 100%. And in the end, chills correctly, embrace her, like completely catapulted ahead. Last second. Uh, honestly, kind of like the one in Pennsylvania, right? Uh, with Eric, in the end, the, the, the scene didn't play out correctly, but one of the victims took off at the very end. I was like watching that, uh, that bit, essentially, that, that decision, sorry, like essentially occurring live. And at the very, very last moment, one of the victims shot right up took it down and that was the redemption choice for for eric which again once our post show is done we'll remind you about how you can check that out but it, it is available uh right away now uh yeah actually i i, I kind of started on pennsylvania might as well production is going to put up uh essentially our story in pennsylvania and layla you're gonna as always do the pleasure of reading that out you know i think i will eduardo in pennsylvania eric reveals the truth about his role in the steel mill accident and production also throws up the slide <laughs> next no, to that's us. my bad i did ask production i'm so sorry to our production crew they're doing like like to be fair tonight uh i definitely want to give a shout out to to our production team who's really we tr trust us we're like we're, we're you know while the video play we're in the background trying to figure things out and make the best experience for you the audience so, so like really big shout out to our production team as always uh and that's my bad i'm sorry <laughs> uh, they, no, we do love production. They are incredible uh, and a small, mighty team. But speaking of small and mighty teams, Rachel devises a plan to protect Faith from harm and insists Eric enact it. Eric tells Krista how he really feels about the two of them. A uh, chat did notice that Krista got stuck with babysitting duty again, uh, which is on, I, I don't know how I would feel being constantly stuck with a child who pointed a knife at me. No. <laughs> I'm just saying that did happen. 
There are many knives in Pennsylvania. I don't know what happened. There must have been like some salespeople that like just went around. Um, it wasn't best deal electronics. Um, clearly not responsible it's, for the knife epidemic. Uh, but clearly uh, some people were out of a job here and sold hey. a lot of knives. Northeasterners, Northeasterners, look at me. I'm not gonna say the name of the brand. Well, you know about the knife salesman, I promise you. They've come to your door. Uh, so, uh, and I'm not joking. <laughs> My friend was in that MLM for a while. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I guess, you know, Pennsylvania is just all about, uh, all about them knives, uh, and the child got a hold of it, and, uh, you know, same knife keeps getting uh, everybody into trouble, we saw Rachel's fingers get snatched, same knife took an eyeball, uh, you know, busy knife, it's, it, it's got job security in Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 I mean... They're definitely sold all the knives you need. Like, if you need a knife, just ask somebody there. They got you covered. Uh, they're pretty sharp, too. Like, I mean, we saw, I mean, I think that's why the, the collector's having trouble in Norway. The knives just can't be as good in still Dallin. In Pennsylvania, no problem collecting those fingers left, right, center. No matter where you look, fingers to go. In, in Norway, maybe the knives are just sh not sharp enough. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe the knives aren't sharp enough. Maybe they're just made out of ice, like their hotels. Well, then the knives yeah, at least that town, right? No, it's not the whole country, but at least that town. Not, not, not the, and I think that's, that's the secret. We're talking about like fate and hope, we're wrong. The core decision was, did this town have knives? That's the secret, clearly. <laughs> America very famously is kind of the, the gun country, and in our in our ascension, uh, America ends up being the knife country, and then Norway ends up being the gun country. Speaking of Norway, um, is, hey, production is going to put up a graphic about uh, the audience choices from this past week. And the first one is a Norway one, which is what will Brit do to stop other Brit from harming Astrid? She embraced herself uh and then uh how will rachel that was a redemption by the way how will rachel respond to faith's followers she will challenge their beliefs so the redemption choice and that for the excuse me for the triple redemption how will eric answer chris's question about choosing rachel he said she it's faith's mother uh mother is mothering absolutely so uh even though we've hidden the choices redemption still on the street um, so good, good for our audience for like sniffing out uh, the correct choice. They're like redemption bloodhounds out there. Yeah, and, and to be fair, a redemption win feels so much better when the audience doesn't know, right? Because like, 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 there's a big difference, right? Like we've talked about like redemption being the key choices in, in the past, and like you know it was close with another with damnation often. There's a big difference here, which is that a you didn't know which one, which often would obviously some easier to guess than others. No, you know. But there's still this aspect of you're, it's less certain. So in a way, we can celebrate those redemption wins because it's not the same context. It's it's not like everything was clear. It's you, the audience, made that decision to go, okay, well, let, let's do this. Let's try to figure this out. And then go like, okay, we think we figured it out. Let's try to go with this one. Um, and, and honestly, I did like some of the – I did like a lot of the redemption lines. The, the one I like from today's scene – was Eric basically tailing Rachel? You know, there's like, uh, he told Krista, like, look, she's face mother, like, no deal. But he's not like with uh, with Rachel, like, yeah, now let's get together. No, he's like, no, 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 you need to listen for once. And she's like, no, but he'll, and he's like, no, no, let's go get Faith. And then he walks away. And she's like, oh, no, no. Like, finally gets the backbone where he needs it. <laughs> That's the important part. Where yeah, he needs it. I think. I think Eric has now the aura of a man who has had enough. Uh, because at first, I feel like we saw him kind of drifting through the foundation a little bit and getting introduced to the, the concept of the merging ceremony and without Rachel there to kind of put pressure on him to act a certain way. It was very like, oh, a merging ceremony? Well, okay. Oh, Chris is hitting on me? Well, okay. You know, a lot of a lot of just going with it. And now that the, the pressure's on, his daughter's in danger, we see him uh, finally uh, speak up for what he wants, which right now is to get out of this situation. Um, that being said, uh, audience, you'll have to tune back in tomorrow. Sorry, audience, I keep messing that up for you. Uh, Lottie, you'll have to turn back in tomorrow. Unfortunately, you will not have any of the three of us to guide you. But on Wednesday, uh, Eduardo and Noah will be back to 
talk through uh, whatever Eric shall experience uh, on a fine Tuesday evening. So have no fear. Yeah, we, we always break it down. It's very important. Um, because we like to. It's fun to talk about like the story, and and I think one of the funnest parts about horror shows is hanging out with your friends on the couch and laughing, or taking or or you know screaming or or speculating about what's to happen because. For me, there's a large part about it, about like the unknown. The unknown is terrifying, but doing it together, uh, you know, feels good. And that's why that's why we do it with the audience. so I feel less scared. Now, the decision open today. Uh, let's put that back up on screen. We went through it. Pencil, you know, we know that tomorrow we're going to get Eric. But let's look at what else we're going to get, right? This Because this decision is also going to close tomorrow. Uh, Layla, if you can explain, then we can kind of like walk through it. I'll we'll look at early audience reactions to this as well. Get a little Absolutely. bit of light looking. Absolutely. So uh, we got how will Astrid explain Brit's fate to Nils? This is a fate decision. Once again, hidden choices. It's her own fault. She never stood a chance. Or I failed my sister. Those are your options. And uh, I saw a lot of a lot of uh, anti Nils sentiment in the chat today. So I am very curious as to how this is going to play out. And um, listen, I think they're a little bit of a fool, right? But um, I'm curious to see how how that anti Nils vibe is going to affect uh, this conversation that they're going to have. Yeah, it's like uh, what's the version of no comment, essentially? <laughs> like one way to go. Uh, but yeah. like, well, maybe maybe that's a good career change for Nils. Maybe maybe they can become a paparazzo. Yeah. No. <laughs> Uh, uh, production, your message is received. <laughs> so, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. We we uh, so so everybody knows here in the audience. We get a live look in into our production, and he just put a big sign to let us know what's up. <laughs> Which translates it as I gotta right. tell the audience. It says no video live. Don't worry about it. We'll we'll guide you. The video is available, but you'll you'll have to look at it on your own later. It's, it's, we'll guide you to that. Don't worry. It's real good to see somebody with a marker in their mouth holding a white piece of paper up to get us a message. Uh, that's that's the kind of that's the kind of ingenuity that we got staff. But you know that that's the thing here. You got to think on your feet, just like Astrid. She's got to think on the fly. That's why that decision's a single day. And essentially, right now, I feel my sister's kind of the winning option. Um, definitely a way to look at it for sure. Um. Like, like, honestly, like, like, as long as you choose that or it's her own fault, Layla's happy. So, you know, Layla being happy is great for everybody, uh, including me, because I work with her. So happy Layla's great for everybody. Trust me. I'm, well, upset Layla's also very entertaining. So. <laughs> yeah, but we have to keep that for our show nights, right? So That's true. <laughs> you need that. Outlet. Now, um, yeah, Layla, the thing is, like, our show is for tonight is coming to an end. And the thing is, we should really make it come to an end because we need to give our audience a chance to check out the scene. So, uh, Layla, recap for us kind of what's happened, our next show. Uh, and then, you know, I'll, I'll kind of take us away and uh, I'll, uh, let you, the audience, know how to check out the scene you should have seen tonight. Uh, absolutely. So, uh, I mean, folks, we've recapped uh, quite a bit tonight, but what you can look forward to tomorrow is Eric's actual final fate. Uh, he and the Entangler are in close quarters right now, so meep, you know. Uh, and uh, we'll see what happens with Krista and Faith and what happens to Rachel. I saw some shooters for Rachel in the chat today. Uh, so who's to say what her uh, situation will be? And then over in Norway, um, you know, again, the Johansson family is, is teeny tiny now. It is Astrid and Orson, and, and we'll see uh, who else uh, may drift in and out, uh, any familiar faces, and uh, how, what, how, when we'll see the immolator again. Um, and that, <laughs> we're coming to a burning entangly climax here at Silent Hill Ascension. And Eduardo and I are so jazzed, and Noah, obviously, she's always here with us in spirit. Uh, we are so simply jazzed to be your guides and to hold your hands as we collectively uh, move through uh, this story. Now, as far as the next show goes, folks, you know we're gonna be here at 5.40 p.m. Pacific, Monday, Wednesday, and when? Friday. Uh, every weekday, you are going to see Ascension the show at 6 p.m. Pacific, even if we are not here as tomorrow. And then uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you come right back after the show, you see the hosts again, 
And uh, we are always happy uh, to sit and riff and jazz and torment production psychologically, as this is a psychological horror franchise. Eduardo, your final notes. My final note. So one of the big things, as you see on your screen, Jacob will be coming on Wednesday. Mystery to everybody. Uh, but, you know, we have uh, kind of announced the last cinematic cameo a, lot, a while back. We're clearly coming to a head. Want to make sure that you have... I can't tell you what our time together is, but I know the clock. Um, personally... Poetic. Yes. Um, and l let's put it this way. Um, you better hope it has uh, 13 hands. Now, so to speak, uh, tonight, you didn't get to see the scene you were meant to see. So enjoy it as a bonus scene. Um, we know these get recorded uh, by um, lovely community members uh, who I've named a few times, so don't worry about it for this night. Um, and, and you'll get to you know see that bonus scene. Take it as it is a bonus scene. Now, when we're done with tonight, Usually what happens is you kind of get kicked out into the main area and the main area will have, uh, you know, the catch up scenes right there. You can check essentially the scene that was meant to play right there, right now. It's technically live now. Just, you know, bear with me a minute and then you'll get to see that. Uh, again, on Wednesday, we'll be with Jacob in that post show. So um, that'll be an interesting thing. Tomorrow, you essentially get to see Eric's final fate scenes play out. Wednesday, you get Jacob, and who knows what's going to come in the show in the shows that are remaining. But we will let you know. Don't worry, it's not going to be like a surprise. Like, oh yeah, today's done. Bye. Uh, you, we will let you know in advance. Of course, you're not going to miss a section of, second of the action, and we will let you know how things end up. Because, I mean, once Eric's done, we're left with the mothers, and how that ends up is really something you'll want to do. And honestly, you're the ones who write their stories. So you'll want to be there for that. Uh, but for now, before oh. I know we, uh, before you, before you give your iconic line, we're not. Uh, you mentioned shouting out uh, audience members, and uh, while we're not giving flowers to the regulars today, we are going to give some flowers. Uh, there's a second fan song that we got to see uh, by one Genki, uh, and listen, I love these fan songs. Keep them coming, Genki. I will not take it personally that I'm not in this one. <laughs> But um, it was a bop. Uh, Y'all should find it on YouTube and check it out. Uh, it's great. Uh, so we had a couple of those roll in. And listen, if we could like squeeze them out, uh, not to be spoiled, um, but three for three would be great. Uh, Eduardo, no, you can take us out. That's fair. Um, well, here's the thing. You can check. You can do. There's a lot of video content out there. There's a lot of cinematic content out there. And I can only thank you for being with us all those nights with us. All those mornings, afternoons, evening and nights, wherever you are around the world, the fact that you spend your time with us, we are truly delighted to have you. Now, when we're done, again, take the time to check out that last scene with Eric. It won't take too much of your time, a few extra minutes of your time and patience. You'll get to see what you were meant to see. And tomorrow you'll see Eric's final fate. We'll be back ourselves as a crew on Wednesday. No matter where you are around the world, I hope you had a wonderful time in our company. Please take care.